So the question is, did I buy a lemon? Well, that depends upon your viewpoint. And it also depends upon how much I spent. In reality, I paid way too much for this car. Way too much. But on eBay, I didn't really know what I was looking for. But the inevitable thing is, I ended up spending more than what I ever anticipated. How much of it is original? Well, that is a very good question. And what have I replaced? Well, let's start at the back. I always think it's the best way to start. So, first one we replaced were the inner chrome. Inserts into the rear windscreen. That one and the front one, that's brand new. I still have to replace the rubber screen. I know it's a back way around of doing it, but I do need to do that because I don't think it's watertight. The thing I replaced was a locking petrol cap. That's brand new. Along with a new uh, Austin Martin fuel cover. We go on to rear tail light lenses. They are brand new, including the bulbs. And we go around to here. That's also brand new. We also fitted on this quite original uh, reversing light. And I had these specifically specially made because the history of the car shows in 1994 it was graduated onto a Cooper and they ordered things specifically from a 93 to 95 Cooper catalogue and that's documented, it can be proved. The black number plate housing was changed to blue, not by me, but it was changed. Also the first owner changed these from black to chrome as in the bumpers and added the overriders. Documented as well, we know that some work was done by Speedwell. And we do have that really, really nice Cooper as long as the Apple Yard. Replicated, of course. Coming round, brand new, is also the gutter trim. Originally I had a plastic one, but they do deteriorate, so we opted for this one. And coming down again, we now go back onto again to these unique decals. I had these designed, copied and made. So they run all the way through the length of the vehicle. So they are new. Also new are the wheel arches. Full set, completely brand new, back to original spec from the 93 Cooper magazine. So they are also new because it's had four or five in its lifetime, but these are like big on to the alloy wheels. Um, these were originally black, I refurbished them and did them in alloy. So we're still leading on to what I've replaced. Quarter light windows. These are brand new as well. Originally had Perspex windows in and they were sealed and we know that because every single window has a different number, registration number etched onto it along with the windscreen. We also know at some stage that also has Perspex. This was given to me from a very, very good friend, Andy Harris, and it has also been an absolute oracle of knowledge and help. So that was given. Brand new mirrors, and I had to make these mirror brackets because, simply because, in its lifetime it had five or six different types of mirrors, and I had to literally remove all the rivets and repair all the damage that was done to the door in order to fit these. We're going on, we have a new quarter panel fitted and again, another new brand new arch and of course the wheel as well. Under here you notice that actually what looks like a spat. These are actually from the 1950s, they were quite common in, in, in rally cars and they do work. So the sill is all brand new as well. We're leading round now, headlamps are all new and these are lovely these are glass proper glass which I managed to find they're also refurbished and brand new the wiring loom inside this car was a nightmare not even to go down there in fact when we bought the car we took it for a run we had problems with the fog lamps we had four fog lamps of different sizes and variations and they kept cutting out also the car kept sparking stalling so I ended up having to replace it with a brand new wiring loom. All the wiring inside this car is brand new. 
the engine was taken out, cleaned and serviced, repainted. Um, again, and the airspeed helped me set up the carb. Now it's gone from a single carb, initially had twin carbs, back to a single carb for the pancake filter. And I've put this original airbox on. We fitted a brand new coil, new um, HD leads. Now the other thing is this vehicle was so badly overheating. I can't even begin to tell you. The cooling system was really, really full of very, very thick sediment. So I completely flushed it all out. It took me four attempts to flush this vehicle out and we replaced every single rubber hose component. From that one to the bottom one to the heating hoses. The bottom one, they only made a certain number of these because they're only specifically made for a certain type of mini and they are hard to find and the price of that offset well, it was nearly as much as what the radiator was, which is also completely brand new, as is the fan. Wiper motor I also refurbished, and that's just a bit of fun. It is actually an Uha horn, but I've used motor oil at the moment because it's probably an incredible oil. The head cover, this one here, is original. It was, however, covered in hammerite paint, and when I started to peel it off, that's then when I found this, which is probably why it's not brilliant. And I just spent hours and hours trying to polish it and clean it and it's come up quite well. I am quite relatively happy with that. As I mentioned, all the electrical system is brand new. The grill. The grill is also brand new. It did have a chrome grill. Now it's funny factory, it came with a black grill. The first owner changed it to a chrome one. It went back to a black one and various types. So this is brand new. This was acquired from Moss. The fog lamps. These are John Cooper original ones, really pleased with them, managed to find them and you can see they're also brand newly wired in as well. Underneath the vehicle you can just about see there is an original sump guard from 93, it's actually a Cooper sump guard. So we're working his way around, the air rows are placed. Now these stripes on the bonnet here are not stripes, they're not vinyl, they're actually painted on painted on by probably the previous only before that. Um, these were added. Coming around to the strap, it's quite an oldish type strap but I do like it. And also the badge. The badge again is a brand new acquisition from Moss. So that's also brand new along with all the chrome. So all the chrome you see is all brand new. Continue our way around the vehicle again. As I mentioned now, well, you now the safety cage. Safety cage was provided off, should I say, I found it uh, on the marketplace. And this roll cage actually belonged to the Mini on Car SOS that they restored. Um, it had it for sale, I bought it, refurbished it and installed, installed it into this vehicle. Again, we've got the stripes coming down, the original decals. One there, because Andy, like I said, is a very, very good source of inspiration and it helps me. Right, so this is where the money goes. You can't see it, but basically all the running gear is all brand new. So we have a completely brand new rear subframe, all the brake pipes, apart from one hose, brand new rear brake setup, as I put into my previous uh, video. So we have new back plates, drums, shoes, bearings, springs. A lot of money went into that. A lot of money went into the old running gear underneath here, so it is all brand new. Coming under again, you can't see, but we also underneath here now we have a brand new full exhaust system. I also installed that. We have a brand new uh, in period chrome fog lamp. And we're still coming round. You can probably see now that there's a lot of work done under that. Now this car did originally have a six point harness. We know that because Underneath the vehicle, you can just about see where some of the mounting points were, and we've just covered them with plates. Leading into the car is now another expenditure. So, I replaced the seats because these were originally taken out between about 94 95 and replaced with some Mini Cooper SPI seats. This is the last of the single car. Um, they were later replaced again for some Cobra seats later replaced again for one single bucket seat, um, replaced again with some different type of Cooper seats. I sourced these and I'm working off the 1993 
95 John Cooper magazine that the original owner would have used when they ordered the accessories for this vehicle. Leading onto the door, we can actually see now that originally these were fitted with alloy billet handles. I've replaced these now with the original handles for this period of car. And incredibly rare are these centerpieces which I had 3D made. Carpet I chose to be red because again from the documentation it had a red carpet so ultimately I put a brand new carpet in complete with gator. Replaced the ridiculously small steering wheel that came with this vehicle when I bought it for a very very nice Motorola lever and chrome one in period again with the type of car and also available in the John Cooper catalogue. The dashboard took some finding. This is an original 1993 wood dashboard that I restored for you lacquered. Over here in period, because this is larking back to its racing history when it did race in Ireland, the original 1990s spot lamps. You can see the digital effect. We have a fire extinguisher. We also have an accessory point. The original clock I sourced. The radio. Now this was the original radio because in the handbook, which I have, it was a Pioneer radio fitted. I was able to relocate one, find one and reinstall that. Over here, it originally had some sort of amp. The heating system. Now this was a nightmare. This has now been completely refurbished and rebuilt. It's got a new motor, a new fan, a new matrix, inlet and outlet valves have all been replaced. So we are coming onto the dash. These are the original clocks that came in the box. But the mileage actually is verified because I have checked with the MOT history. We're coming over now to the period correct tachymeter and oil pressure gauge. And this switch here, now this one here I've retained and kept in because at some stage, going forward, not now, I intend to replace the windscreen with a heated windscreen. And that is what that switch is for. Headlining was repaired and fixed. And again, we're going into the vehicle. You can see what fantastic condition these seats are in. These are actually new old stock seats. I was very, very lucky to find them. Uh, and a very, very good friend informed me about them. We're going back again onto the subframe. As you can see, I restored all this. Um, it was originally cream. Um, and I'm really, really pleased with that. Um, coming back out of the car again, we can't see. And again, where the expenditure hit is actually underneath now all of the ball joints the swivel joints the suspension front and rear has all been replaced for brand new because i couldn't service the old parts because they had actually been welded believe it or not so everything you see has gone into it the expenditure into this car has cost me nearly as much as what i paid for it so we are talking into five grand now I've got all the documents, which I'm going to go through in a minute and show you some historical pictures of the car as well. Was it worth it? Mm, I've enjoyed doing it um, and it should get another 20 years life out of it.